people of Madagascar don't support you. He claims that the people support him. He claims that all the people you're saying died, you are the one that killed them. What measures are you putting in place to speak out as well, to let the world know the truth? You know, the uh, former president uh, was uh, ousted from, from, from power. Uh, he left the country, and that was on his own. And all this happened because the people didn't want him anymore. You know, today, uh, former President Benali of Tunisia or uh, former President Mubarak of Egypt uh, can still say that they've got support in the country, in their respective countries. Uh, but we can also say that uh, the majority of the people in these two countries uh, would say that they don't want these former presidents anymore to return that to their uh, countries again. Okay, but um, w with him being in South Africa and out of Madagascar, he is now using it as a stepping stone to say you are avoiding him to come back to Madagascar because you know that people will support him, not you. Uh, you know, the, the former president, from where he is today, he can surely say uh, whatever he wants to say. And, and let me tell you also that uh, besides him, there is also another uh, former leader, former uh, dictator uh, here in the country. Well, actually, he's uh, out of the country today, but he's also trying hard to come back uh, to the country. And not just come back to the country, but to return uh, in the political uh, arena again. Uh, you know, for us today, it's, we don't want uh, these uh, people anymore uh, because it's a new generation today uh, that leads the country, a new generation with a new vision. Uh, these former leaders, they have had their time to show people what they could do, and people have seen uh, what they were not capable of doing, and people have asked them to leave power. And, and, and today, we just don't want them to come back. The people don't want them to come back. You, in addition to that, um, the, we here in Madagascar, we, we, we don't want to be like uh, the, uh, what has happened in, 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 in Ivory Coast uh, or, or in Libya, for example. Um, when the former president Bakbo, uh, he, he, while he was in power, he, he tried so hard to uh, remain in power, and that has co had cost a lot of lives in, in Ivory Coast before he uh, was deposed from, from power. Same thing in Libya. Um, the former president uh, of, of Libya also wanted to remain at all costs in power. And that uh, have costed a lot of uh, lives to the people of Libya. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, I will always make sure that uh, people would not be killed because someone wants to remain or come back in power uh, here in the country. Uh, we, we don't want that. We don't want too many people to, to be killed in this country because of political reasons. Um, today, the former president wants to come back to the country at, at all costs. And I'm sure he is uh, willing to kill more people again, to multiply even the number of people that he has already killed before, uh, perhaps 400 to 4,000 people that would lose their lives again because of him, I just cannot accept that. The, the people also don't want that. And we are ensuring that no more lives would be lost because of him. If, if Madagascar would uh, experience a, a civil war in the country, you know, who can we blame for that? Who would be the one responsible for that? You know, while we're here in the country, uh, you can see around 
that uh, we're not in a civil war situation. Uh, people are not uh, fighting each other. We're not in a conflict. And, and I would like for you to, to show the world that you know, people don't use weapons here, here in Madagascar. Uh, we are at peace in the country. And, and I would really love for you to just show the rest of the world and prove them that this is the current situation in the country. What is the cause of changes in the Prime Minister's office in the past three years? I understand you had three Prime Ministers in the past three years. You know, um, uh, during this transition, our main objective, of course, is to uh, arrive at uh, free, fair, and credible elections. Uh, however, um, when the international mediation uh, uh, initiated a, a process for ending the crisis in Madagascar, uh, it has um, drafted a, a roadmap towards an end for, for the crisis in the country. And this roadmap provides for uh, the appointment of a consensus uh, prime minister uh, in, in for this transition, and that's why we've, we've got a new prime minister today uh, as uh, by virtue of the roadmap. And, and I'd like to emphasize that the new prime minister of the transition today is a prime minister that is appointed from the opposition Movances or opposition faction. Your Excellency, any last words to the rest of the world today? Um, in, 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 in Madagascar, the, the Malagasy people wishes for peace and, and serenity. And uh, the, 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 the Malagasy people also, there's no one that uh, one man should take in hostage the life of an entire nation. And also my message to the international community is that uh, they should not just consider one person's interest, but they should also uh, look at the interest of those 20 million people who live in this country. Thank you so much, sir. There you go, Africa. I've been speaking to the president of Madagascar, His Excellency Andrew Rajuelina. When you click into Africa, this is what you see.